so guys today in this video i'm going to show you how to measure a voltage and amps produced by a solar panel how to measure a current and a voltage that you are produced by a solar panel so the first step is to get your solar panel and then get it outside but before we start measuring the voltage and current produced by our panel first of all need to understand and to read on the what current specification and the power rating that come with our panel so you can see here our solar panel produces around 40 watts open circuit voltage around 22.7 volts open circuit short circuit current around 2.2 amperes which if you try to make a calculation there you'll get that it's approximately 40 watts of power that is estimated to be produced from our solar panel so now we are going to test it to see if that is, is true and uh, so the first of all is to move your solar panel on a place that there are, is no a lot of shadows so if you are inside make sure that you do this experiment in outside the environment in order to get clear picture so move your solar panel away from the shade area and move it to a place that is that, that there is a most sunlight in order to get unbiased results then after that you can see it here my panel is already on a sun place on a sun point then after that take your multimeter or you, it can be analog or digital multimeter then after that just put it on and uh, to measure your voltage that is very simple i know everyone can do that but i will show you later how to measure a current so let's prove it connect it to your panel the positive wire to the positive terminal of the multimeter and there's a negative one to the negative terminal for a multimeter and you can see that you get around 21 volts which is not bad it's very close to the one that is advertised on the panel which is around 22 volts up to 19 volts so that's not bad it's true for in most cases the voltage will not vary across the shadow and in a sunny regions so here we are going to measure a current right now so put your multimeter arrow on your current mode on a place that is it is written 10 amps or 20 amps i don't know how your, your multimeter is written then shift your red wire one of the wire to the place that is written current don't leave it to the place that it was before make sure that you shift it and then after that connect it to the terminal of your solar panel in order to measure the current so right now here we are measuring the current instead of the voltage if you don't move your wire from one from that point to the point that is it is just above it you will not be able to measure the current you'll just be measuring voltage or whatever since that might be there so then after that we have already put our multimeter and your solar panel on the sun so you can see here we are reading around 1.6 1.2 up to 1.5 amperes up to 0 0.7 amperes depending on the way the sun is shining on the panel you can see that there is a lot of clouds today that's why the current keep varying very widely you can see here on on, on 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 one time you can get 0 0.8 amperes up to 1.5 amperes so as the sunlight as the shadow cover your panel the current produced by it will decrease significantly and as the sun shining on your panel the current on it will rise up significantly so you can see it here as the sun rays decrease the current also decrease and as the sun rays increase the current also will increase so here you can see that you can measure up to 0 0.4 volts uh, 0 0.4 amps so let's 
move our panel to the place that is very sunny in order to get and buy the results. So you can see here, I've placed my panel on a place on a point that it receives a lot of solar radiation, and you can see it, I, I've been able to achieve 2.1 amperes. You see, 2 amperes, 2.1 amperes times 20 is 40 watts. 2 amperes times two times 20 volts is 40 watts so that you can see that that guys it's true that apparently i've got correct readings there's no any scam here you can see it but the problem with solar panel as you know it is that it will produce a very little amount of current in a cloudy time and the cloudy days while it will produce also very large amount of current when the sun is shining up in the sky so the current rating that are written on a solar panel is the maximum amount of current that is your panel will be able to achieve on your sunny shine day on a complete sun day so you can see it here as the sun shine up the current increase up to two amperes you see it here yeah? so that is, is it guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel in the next video i will show you how to make a hydrogen gas by using this solar panel i will connect a solar panel to the electrolysis experiment and try to make some hydrogen just for fun so make sure that you subscribe and watch the next video the link to buy is a multimeter if you don't have a multimeter will be in the description also you can also find it anywhere you can find your multimeter from any shop that sells this kind of stuff so that's it guys subscribe and see you in the next video thank you